Bryn, Shannon, and Michael, you all own it. Shannon, I will start off with you. Why do you still hold on to this one? The, the company has executed over the last several years in terms of being able to monetize its user base. And I think that that is the one thing that we haven't seen from other companies such as Twitter. Uh, I think the challenge with Facebook continues to be this overhang in terms of sentiment about owning the company um, and whether or not you really want to play in the space of social media overall. For us, uh, you know, I was asked on this show uh, if I would buy more immediately after the earnings report. And I said, absolutely not. I thought it could be down another 10 to 15 percent. And it's down a lot more than that. Um, I think that it's in the penalty box for the next several quarters. But, but as I look out over the next several years, I do think that they're going to be able to pivot uh, to being able to grow the Web 3.0 space. And if anyone can do it, it's this company. They have the user base and they have the chassis to build upon. Why, what is, Michael, I'll ask you this as a shareholder, because part of owning Meta is believing uh, the company's vision of the metaverse. What what is it? What what is it? Do you what? How do you think the company is going to monetize this? How do you think about how that is going to be revenue stream for this company? Well, they've they've monetized right their online presence and everybody else's news and information, and of course through advertising and eyeballs. When they have a big enough audience, they're able to monetize it, and advertising has been a huge driver. They've also made a shift over to reels. So with the metaverse, if it can be the vision that Zuckerberg is describing, there are a lot of different ways and more ways they can monetize it. Uh, I, I think than than they have been even their current platform. I don't think it's a good trade. I think it's probably a good investment at 13 times earnings. They've discounted a lot of bad news. Can they take this huge user base and actually figure out what to do next? Yeah, I think they probably can, but you probably need to give them at least the opportunity and some time to figure this out. Down 53% is not a time I'd be selling it. Yeah, it's down 18% over the past month versus the S&P 500, which is down, or the NASDAQ 100, which is down 2%, so clearly an underperformer, even yeah. in a more recent time frame. Brynn, this really sounds like a leap of faith kind of stock at this point. If you're betting on Mark Zuckerberg's bet on the metaverse, and we don't really know what form that's going to be, you're basically saying, I believe you. Yeah, but they own Oculus, right? And so, I mean, from a device perspective, they, they, they have Oculus. And also, look at Microsoft reinvented themselves with the cloud. Like, who would have, if you would have explained the cloud to someone when they were just starting, we all wouldn't have really understood that. So I'm open to the idea that they actually can reinvent themselves. At the same time, you have both the value and the growth managers that can both traffic in this space. So I own a tiny bit of shares. I just bought it, and I think I'm down 18% since I just bought it. Right. But I do think it's an interesting story. and I would never, never count out Mark Zuckerberg. He invented the social media space. Why can't he capitalize on this next?